I'm Robert Vining and this is a Joomla Art tutorial video. Today we're going to take a look at the core features inside the new Joomla 1.6 release. Joomla 1.6 has several new features including a new ACL system, improved content management, user management, a completely redesigned extensions manager, menu manager, template manager, built-in multi-language support, SEO features, and much more. <laughs> Let's start with the article manager. This is the core content component that allows you to create your articles, pages, and blog posts. Joomla 1.6 uses the latest Tiny MCE editor to easily create content including links, images, and text. With the new access control level system in Joomla 1.6, you can set permissions for each user group on specific content. We'll take a look at that in a minute. One of the exciting new features in 1.6 is nested categories. This allows for subcategories up to 10 levels deep and Joomla no longer uses sections. Let's click on a category and take a look at the edit screen. Here you can edit the category description, but the real improvement is the ability to set specific metadata for each category to help improve SEO. Previously in Joomla 1.5 you could set articles to be shown on the front page which was nice but now you can make them as featured to allow several landing pages across your site. The media manager helps you easily manage media content like images, music and videos to be used for your website. This is the default folder structure but you can create new folders to keep files organized easily. The file upload system will allow you to upload files right from your desktop. You can configure what types of files can be uploaded and up to 10 megabytes in size. And the user manager allows you to manage users, user groups and access levels. Here we see the users tab. This is the default user groups. In this tab you can manage your user groups and set permissions for each of them. And in the third tab, you can manage access levels. You can also set specific access levels for specific user groups. This is an example of creating a new view permission level. We'll go in depth in an upcoming Joomla Art video on the ACL system in 1.6. The banner management system allows you to manage banners and groups and groups them into categories. You can set access levels for banners and banner categories also. In the third tab, you can manage your clients. And the last tab allows you to monitor the click-through for each of your banners. As with previous versions, Joomla 1.6 comes with a built-in contacts manager. It allows you to set contact pages for each division and member of your organization. The sample data in Joomla 1.6 uses the contact manager as a directory which shows the versatility of the component. The contact manager takes advantage of the nested categories feature in 1.6 as well. Joomla 1.6 comes with a built-in messaging system the same as 1.5. It allows back-end users to send messages to contacts from the contact component database and also allows back-end users to send mass mail to all members or to a specific user group. Joomla 1.6 comes with a news feed manager to enable your website to publish external content from RSS feeds. Setting up a news feed is simple. Just give it a title, add the RSS feed, choose a category and you're ready to go. Here again, the nested category feature in 1.6 allows you to create subcategories up to 10 levels deep. Below the categories listing, there's a new tool to set access levels for each category. A new component in Joomla 1.6 is the Redirect Manager. This advanced tool will help you set up redirects for old content links to the new content links. Very helpful if you're migrating from a previous Joomla version. The Web Links Manager allows you to set up a basic directory of links to share on your website. 
The edit screen allows you to enter the link title, URL, and a description to give your visitors insight about the link. The nested category feature allows you to easily organize links into specific groups. Additionally, you can set access levels to each category or web link. The Extensions Manager allows you to extend core functionality by installing extensions like components, modules, plugins, and language packs. Another nice feature in Joomla 1.6 is the Update Manager. Now you can keep your Joomla site and extensions updated easily without leaving your site. In the Manage tab, you can uninstall, enable, or disable extensions that have been previously installed on your website. In the Discover tab, you can install extensions that are uploaded using an FTP client instead of the standard Joomla installer. This is useful if extensions are too large in size or cannot be installed due to server limitations or hosting environment. The Warnings tab will log all unsuccessful installation attempts. <laughs> The Module Manager allows you to create, edit, duplicate, publish, check in, and trash modules installed on your website. Use the built-in search filter or sort by site or admin, published or unpublished, module position, module type, user access, or language. The sorting features are nice when you have a lot of modules installed, and the trash feature lets you restore a module that you might want again. The module edit screen allows you to set the position and menu assignment, access level, and language. The plugin manager allows you to configure various types of plugins, content, system, authentication, editors, and other types. In this section, you can enable, disable, and reorder plugins, and also set the access levels. The Template Manager allows you to manage both front-end and back-end templates. Joomla 1.6 now allows multiple styles for each template. You can set a default style for your site while customizing the look of specific pages. The default templates in Joomla 1.6 are just enough to get you started with a website. Almost all templates provide various parameters and settings, such as template width, logo settings, or layout control. The Language Manager allows you to set multiple languages for your website. You can install additional language packs for both back-end and front-end users. Based on the languages installed in your system, with Joomla 1.6 you can set up new languages for your content, articles, and modules. This is an example of creating a new language to be used for content items. The Site Maintenance section will allow you to do a global check-in per extension and clean the website's cache. The second tab will allow you to clear all cache or specific cache group. The third tab allows you to purge all cache that is expired or is not used anymore. The Joomla Help Panel provides much needed information including extension settings and how to use your new Joomla website. There's basic information like how to edit an article and more detailed information like how to create a link using HTML. The search feature will help you easily locate just the right information. It's a great resource to use without ever leaving your website. In global configuration you can set site name, default editor, and access level. Set up global metadata including description and keywords. SEO settings for the search engine friendly URLs, and there's even a place for cookies. The System tab allows you to set a secret encoding key, path to log folder, choose a help server, turn on the debugging feature, general cache settings, and set the session lifetime for logged in users. The server tab allows you to set compression settings, location settings, and time zone, FTP connection settings, database connection, and general mail settings. Finally, the Permissions tab allows you to set the access to specific sections of your website for your user groups. This was an overview of Joomla 1.6 features brought to you by Joomla Art.
Stay tuned for more Joomla tutorials at www.youtube.com slash JoomlaArt. Thanks for watching. I'm Robert Vining. Have a good day. Thank you.